All right, so this is where the fun begins. And I actually had this bike shipped to me, to my work. Um, it did require a signature, and I'd run into that before. And, of course, I didn't want my brand-new bike to be at home waiting on me or possibly, you know, if nobody was home to pick it up, uh, sitting in purgatory somewhere waiting to be shipped out. So uh, I had it shipped to me at work. It did fit in the back of my Jeep Grand Cherokee, big, large shipping box here. So I'm going to get this out and get this unpacked for you guys. One of the things I really couldn't decide on when getting a new bike is what I wanted in a bike. So I looked at a couple different options. Um, I have an enduro bike currently. Uh, I've also got a hardtail, and then I've also got a gravel bike. And I was like trying to find something that pedaled, you know, better than my enduro bike, more fun to ride on a daily basis. So uh, this is kind of what I picked. <clears throat> I was looking at some different options like the. Uh, Oh, the uh, Pivot Trail 429. Uh, also looking at the SB 130 from Yeti. Uh, ultimately, I decided, hey, when I'm looking for a bike, I'm looking for something that's fun to ride. And everybody kept talking about the evil bikes and how fun they were to ride. So, um, if you've never ordered a bike online, it's actually pretty awesome because you can shop, obviously, a ton of bikes online. Uh, this is actually the second bike now that I've bought from uh, Jensen USA and I really give a shout out to those guys because they are excellent every time I call them whether it's parts you know knowledge whatever it is they always take great care of me um, so they gave me a pretty sweet deal on this one here um, you know and you get like some cool boxes like obviously it's new bike day uh, but don't be scared to order online um, this is actually I've got I've had five bikes and I've ordered four of them online um, two from Jensen uh, one of them actually from, um, uh, I can't remember the name of it, uh, it was a Chain Reaction out of the UK. They shipped that bike out of the UK. Uh, also uh, got a Common Saw as well that I ordered. Um, so I've done uh, several different ones. They've all come out very well. Um, I've pretty much always bought bikes, I guess, based upon reviews because I've never had an opportunity to ride these. Uh, when you get a bike from Jensen, um, I know after having two bikes from now that they've built both of these in house and uh, they've got a mechanic here that's actually gone over basically a build sheet to make sure that everything's good to go and it's actually signed off here so uh, this one here uh, the guy's name is Casey can't can't read his last name uh, but uh, 2019 evil offering GX I went with the GX model um, didn't see a lot of benefit in paying the extra money for the X01 stuff right now uh, so that's why I skipped on that. Uh, I got a bag here full of goodies, parts, owner's manuals. Except, you know, honestly, I've never noticed with all the uh, SRAM stuff, they have those manuals in there. I don't even know why, because all they say is go to a website. Get the new bike day box. Uh, let's see what's in this envelope here. They give me a 15% uh, off coupon. Good for uh, any kind of accessories you want to buy. Also, a Jensen USA sticker. That's pretty cool. And uh, kind of always in this red envelope here. So the uh, the bikes are always packed up real good. Uh, Jensen, I think, advertises that you can be ready to ride within three minutes. Um, maybe if you just slapped it all together and didn't fit it to you, you could probably do that. But if you're going to fit it to yourself, it's going to take a little bit more time. So uh, this one here uh, comes with the TRS E13 wheels. We get this full cool packaging and try to pull it out of here. stuff here inside the plastic. Got the 180mm uh, rotors front and rear. So I'll be kind of curious to see how those work because I'm running a 200-180 on the back of my common saw right now. Uh, this one also came with the uh, the Maxxis Minion DHF front wheel. 
I love these Maxxis tires. Um, knock on wood, been running them for three years on the common saw tubeless. Never had a flat, never had a puncture, never had a rip. They're amazing. So I'm looking forward to more good things out of the Maxxis tires. A little bit more padding. Fixing to go ahead and put this on a bike stand and then uh, we'll kind of look at everything else and kind of go from there. All right, so I got my offering here on the, uh, the stand right now. Um, Jensen pretty much lived up to their expectations on this one. I mean, literally all I had to do was pop the front wheel in. Um, now, on some of the bikes I've ordered before, I um, had to make a few adjustments on the brakes. Uh, seems like these are already pretty good. Maybe just a really small, slight rub that I could probably tweak and get just a little bit better. Uh, like I said earlier, we got the Maxxis DHF on the front on the E13 wheels. Got the DHR2 on the back. Uh, this is the GX Eagle build. Got the GX derailleur, GX chain. Uh, it's got the uh, SRAM descendant crank set there. The Evil comes with its own little chain guide it's got right there. I've been seeing the uh, lower chain guides, and I'm actually kind of interested in getting one of those maybe as well. So, uh, bike came all in one piece. I said, don't be afraid to to get a bike on the internet check it out 170 millimeter reverb dropper stealth got the WTB volt seat be interested to try this out kind of picky when it comes to saddles uh, got the rock shock super deluxe rear shock RCT here in the back so I'm gonna get that all set up here in a minute you know one thing you got to do obviously when you get your bike in you gotta get it set up for you get the uh, sag set on the rear Get the sag sitting on the front fork. Got the Rock Shocks pike here on the front. Also got that Charger 2 damper. Be curious to check that out. It's a little bit of an upgrade over the common saw there. See right there coming off a 27.5 frame. Now that came in, uh, that was a 2016 model and it came in. It was pretty hot stuff back then. One of the only bikes that I saw in the price range for they had an 11 speed at the time. So I've upgraded it since to the 12 speed. Love that bike, great bike, lots of fun. But I think this Evil here is gonna be even better. Uh, one of the other things you're gonna have to do, obviously if you're just getting a bike, you gotta set the uh, the brakes up to make sure that they fit your hands pro uh, pro uh, properly, you know, set them where you want them. So I'm gonna adjust all the cockpit here in a minute. Check the headset, make sure that's all good for me. Check the uh, seat post height. Make sure the saddle's positioned like I like it. So I'm pretty excited about this bike. It's about 9 o'clock at night. I've got to work all day tomorrow. So what I'll probably be doing at about 6 a.m. is riding in the dark with this um, because I'm not going to be able to wait. So um, looking forward to really checking this bike out. So like I said, don't be afraid to buy a bike off the Internet. I really think it opens up your options as far as what you can get, you know, for your money as opposed to, you know, if you only have like one bike shop nearby that has only one brand, it makes it really hard to pick out exactly what you want. Um, this common saw, when I bought it, it was actually my very first bike that I had ever bought. I actually tried to get into mountain biking on a used uh, Moto Bacane that a guy sold me on Facebook. It's like a cheap $150 bike. I realized I was probably going to die if I kept riding it. And I went to my local bike shop one day and the guy I talked to, he was probably like the worst salesman as far as selling one of their bikes. But what he kept telling me was like, it's all about the components. It's all about the components. 
you know, and so I bought this bike literally based upon all the components on it. And Common has got some really good reviews on their stuff. Uh, they do some of their in-house stuff on some of the things that don't matter as much, so that's cheaper. Uh, went in later on, added the reverb uh, seat post. Um, like I said, upgraded from the 11 speed to the 12 speed. Uh, put some new uh, Next SL cranks on there, so I got the carbon cranks. And this is a pretty lightweight enduro bike. It just doesn't pedal as efficiently as I wanted. So that's why I'm trying to go for something else here. And uh, I'm really looking forward to trying this Evil out. But um, hey, if you got any questions about ordering bikes online, you know, give me a shout down in the comments. And uh, I'll see what I can do to help you out. But like I said, I've bought from several companies now. Here's the, uh, matter of fact, here's my other one I bought from Jensen. Gravel bike, one of their custom builds. One of the ones they do in shop. Can't buy that from Niner directly. Um, got the Easton cockpit got the eastern wheels um, pretty sweet bike right there for a gravel bike anyway when it's too muddy to ride a mountain bike that's what i'm riding so give a shout out to jensen if you're looking for any parts accessories bikes whatever they're going to take great care of you and uh you'll be happy just like me new bike day all right so i got it all set up now i uh, set the sag on the rear suspension front suspension got it ready to go checked out the cockpit and uh, believe it or not it was actually all like right on the money for me as far as wrist angles and things like that probably the only thing that i changed is i actually moved uh, the shifter over uh, there's another mounting hole right here so i moved the whole shifter actually just a little bit outward for me because that's where i like it at uh, a little bit easier to reach with the thumb uh, i got my wahoo mounted up ready to go um, these are 35 millimeter bars, um, so I had to mount the Wahoo kind of out here to the side. Never thought about doing that before, so it uh, looks like it's going to be okay for me. Also put a, a water bottle cage in. I got a 24 ounce water bottle in there. Looks like maybe over time, maybe I might get a little rub here on the cables, but we'll just kind of see. I mean, they're going to replace those anyway just from normal wear and tear, so uh, I'm going to take this thing out tomorrow morning. Do a little shakedown on it, see how it goes. So, look forward to riding this bad boy, seeing what I can do with it. All right, so I just got done riding uh, my offering, very first ride, maiden voyage. Uh, the sun's not even up yet, but I had to get it in today before I went to work. Um, the conditions that I'm going to compare, maybe this to my old common saw, not really the best conditions because the ground was still pretty moist, lots of leaves on the ground. Um, slow rolling all day long but I can say initially that everybody talks about the plushness of evil suspension the rear suspension um, it's exactly what everybody's always said um, so like maybe the difference between you know a hardtail to you know something even like that 160 millimeter rear travel common saw that I had uh, the difference that you'd feel between a hardtail and that full suspension it's like that same amount of difference from that common saw to the evil bike so uh, absolutely amazing I mean I couldn't believe how plush it was um, it absolutely uh, climbed like a goat there's a couple small sections I went and took it on um, that are like r quick downhills and then back up and the the back trans the up transitions typically on most bikes if you don't have enough speed you're not gonna make it to the top because it's all gravel all the way to the top and you just get up there and start spinning this thing just like the the harder it got the more gravel I got into it just started digging 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 deeper like there was no bottom to the ground it was crazy um, my initial impressions is that the bike felt a little bit slower a little bit heavier um, but you know again the ground wasn't fast rolling right now so it's hard to compare that to I mean I ride this this trail like probably three or four days a week all year long so pretty familiar with the trail um, and it's just the trail is not very good right now to compare it to so uh, I'll be curious to see how it continues to go on um, as far as like you know little technical climbing features things like that the evil just ate it up um, so I'm pretty pretty excited about it and see how this goes on um, definitely uh, definitely a fun riding bike so uh, I'll you know probably keep following up and we'll see how this goes but I'm sure I'm gonna love it okay so here's my basically first impression review I've had a chance to ride this bike now for about 25 miles so I've got a pretty good feel for it um, kind of want to over, go over all the components with you on it as well too 
tell you what I really, really like about this bike. Um, and I would tell you that there's maybe some things I don't like, but I haven't discovered those yet. So I can't tell you that. <laughs> um, but like I said, when I bought this bike, I was looking for something mid-travel bike, something I could ride on trails that are in my area and then also travel to northwest Arkansas, hit some of the downhill stuff there, you know, the gnarlier trails that they have that we do not have. Basically a bike that could do both. And I think I may have found it here with the evil, the offering. So, uh, you know, the TRS wheels, these are the, I guess you'd call them base model TRS aluminum wheels. These things are awesome, man. Um, the rim tape on the inside made it super easy to mount these tires tubeless. Normally you've got to, you know, seat the tire bead, then deflate the tire, then put your sealant in. Honestly, you don't even have to do that. Just put your sealant in and you can mount these things up with an air pump. It's really that easy. Uh, these also came with the E13 valve stems there. These are awesome. If you have not seen them, they're like a high flow valve stem. Um, makes putting the valve stem in really easy. Also helps get more sealing in, more air in. They're awesome. The uh, guide R brakes. This bike, you can see I actually scraped a tree already with this one. Um, excellent, man. 180 millimeter rotors on this model. Stops just as good as I need to. Also on those E13 wheels, some nice fat hubs. Okay, so they feel pretty good. Pretty happy with them. The uh, RockShox Pike with the Debonair. Uh, can't get to zoom in there. Uh, Charger 2 dampener. Pretty good so far. I like it. The Delta system with the RockShox Super Deluxe shock. Absolutely amazed by this thing. I have not found a place yet where I could not get traction. No matter how steep it was, no matter how loose, pedaling uphill, out of the saddle, it just digs. You can stand up and pedal on this thing like an XC bike all day long. Also, uh, showed you another video. I got a 24 ounce bottle mounted here. You see, actually, I got it now where it's not rubbing the cables and how I did that. I just put like a little nut right there under that bottom washer. Kind of tilt it forward a little bit. Makes it easier to get the bottle in and out. Pretty happy with that. Uh, of course, I told you I went with the SRAM GX. I don't really see any point in buying the X01 unless you just like spending the extra money. Uh, the WTB Volt saddle, super, super comfortable. I like the RockShox Reverb seat post. Got it on my other bike. Love it. Still love it. This is a 170 millimeter version. I added this uh, Decon hot lapse bag. Pretty happy with it. I got a ton of gear in that thing. The only bad thing is when that seat post is all the way down, I have rubbed tire on uh, some drops. So, um, pretty happy with the race face cockpit. Evil grips. They're actually really, really nice grips. Uh, I thought I was gonna go ahead and change those when I got them, but I think I'm gonna keep them on there for a while. Um, Got nothing but good things to say about this bike. I think, you know, you hear everybody using the word quiver, the quiver killer. This could be it unless you live next to a bike park. And then, I mean, still I see guys riding these at the bike parks on the forum. So, really a good bike to consider. Uh, you're not going to win like a, you know, fastest guy in an XC race with this bike. But I believe you could pedal with one all day long, keep up with them. Uh, super efficient bike, super, super efficient bike. I'm honestly thinking about getting rid of some of my other bikes now because of this bike. So um, I'll do a further follow-up, kind of a more in-depth review later on. Also kind of show you what led me to get this bike, you know, kind of uh, my lessons of buying bikes from a beginner until now. So uh, follow up with us, subscribe, look for the next videos, and look forward to telling you more about it.